A month ago, the Baltimore Orioles demoted the game's top prospect, Jackson Holiday, back down to AAA Norfolk to make some adjustments following a 2-for-34 start at the plate to begin his major league career. Citing the need for every day at bats, Orioles general manager Mike Elias expects Jackson Holiday to be back in the big league soon. In the meantime, Holiday has become the everyday second baseman for the AAA Norfolk Tides. So how exactly has Holiday been doing at the plate since his demotion back to AAA? As of the making of this video, Jackson Holiday is 30 for 117 with 4 home runs, 9 doubles, 17 singles, 32 walks, and 36 strikeouts in his at-bats back in AAA. Let's dive into the numbers, but before we do, if you could, please do me a quick favor and make sure you're subscribed to my channel so you don't miss out on any updates on Jackson Holiday while he's down in the minors. I know it can be tedious to try and find minor league stats, so I want to make this channel a place where you can come to get those updates. I'll be keeping you all in the loop with how things are going for Holiday and when we can expect him to make his return to the major leagues. Back to business, in order of his 32 games back in AAA, here are Jackson Holiday's stats. I had been doing these game by game, but since he's played in so many games now, I'm taking them in chunks of five. Games one through five, he went four for 20, which is a 200 batting average with two doubles, two singles, six walks, and one strikeout. So a little light on the hits, but his on-base percentage was up due to all those walks. Then he caught fire. Game 6 through 10, 6 for 17, which is a 353 batting average with a home run, two doubles, three singles, six walks, and five strikeouts. The home run was his first in almost a month since before his call up. Games 11 through 15 were a little bit slower again when it comes to the hits. He went 3 for 19, which is a 158 clip, with three singles, four walks, and six strikeouts. Game 16 through 25 for 22, which is a 227 batting average, with another home run, a double, three singles, four walks, and seven strikeouts. Games 21 through 25, four for 20, which is only a 200 batting average, with another home run, a double, two singles, six walks, and eight strikeouts. Games 26 through 30, another hot stretch here for Jackson, 7 for 16, which is a 438 batting average with another home run, two doubles, four singles, four walks, and six strikeouts. And finally, games 31 and 32, one for three with a double, two walks, and two strikeouts. You notice only three official at-bats there. He came in as a pinch hitter uh, in game 32 and drew a walk, so he went zero for zero in game 32. But again, overall, 30 for 117, which is good for a 256 batting average. As the sample size begins to increase, we're seeing Jackson finally start to get back into his groove with some improved stats here as of late. The batting average has gone up from about 220 to that 256 number. So great to see. Taking a look at his strikeout numbers, which has been something I've kept an eye on with how often he was going down on strikes in the majors. His 36 strikeouts since his demotion equates to a 30% strikeout rate. Now, while this is technically an improvement on the 53% figure that he had in the major leagues, the number's still a little too elevated for me. If he can get that down under 20%, that's more where we want to see it. So are all of these stats going to get Jackson Holiday back in the big league soon? The answer there is no. I feel that he's going to need to put up some more stats consistently over the course of the coming weeks or even months to get the promotion. Now, don't get me wrong. The games have been a lot better as of late. And I feel that if Jackson Holiday can continue to show some improvements and get that consistency over a period of weeks or months, he could certainly find himself back in the big leagues. One of the problems is that the Orioles have a lot of talent, obviously, on their big league roster. So the question kind of is, where are you going to put him? Uh, we may need to see an injury before Jackson Holiday gets a chance, but obviously the better his stats are, the better chance he's going to have to get that promotion back to the major leagues. And as I've mentioned before, 
as Jackson continues to get back into his groove, the Orioles do continue to win at the major league level, which really does kind of eliminate the need to try to rush Jackson back up to provide a spark. And that's why I feel that this is going to be a little bit more of an extended stay down in AAA. The Orioles really want to focus on Jackson Holiday getting consistent every day at bats and reassessing every few weeks. I wouldn't be surprised, like I said, if it's another couple of months before we see Jackson Holiday in the big leagues again. And personally, I feel that that is the best thing for his career right now. He needs to continue to take the pressure off of himself, get back to the basics, and the success will come. And as I like to say, it's not a matter of if we will see Jackson Holiday back in the big leagues, just when. I'll be keeping you guys updated with how Jackson Holiday is performing in the minors in the weeks ahead, so you don't miss out on any of those future videos. Please be sure to subscribe and turn those notifications on to save yourselves the trouble of going and trying to find it yourselves. If you enjoyed this video, please smash that thumbs up button. Feel free to leave a comment as well. It helps me out a bunch. If you made it all the way to the end of this video, I really appreciate you. I'll catch you all in the next one.